bucket trucks with stabilizing outriggers are required by law to have an interlock device which does not allow the aerial tower to be operated unless the outriggers are deployed onto solid ground in order to maintain stability from a rollover condition. This is typically done by the use of a series of limit switches that are activated as each outrigger is set into position. When all of the outriggers are deployed, the series of electrical limit switches send the signal enabling the aerial tower to be elevated from the transport position and operated normally. If any one of the outriggers is not deployed fully, the aerial tower interlock system is disabled and the unit will not operate. There are instances in the field where one or more of the outriggers may not be deployed to the amount necessary to activate the outrigger limit switch. This can occur due to uneven terrain, a curb on one side of the truck, or other ground conditions requiring mats extending the outrigger to the point where the limit switch activates may result in the truck chassis being outside the truck levelness criteria thus requiring unsafe excessive cribbing under the opposite side outriggers. There are also instances where the limit switches fail to operate properly, causing the interlock system to remain inactive. In the past, when the outrigger switches caused the aerial device to be inoperative, operators would physically bypass the outrigger switches in order to get the aerial tower to work. The bypassing of the outrigger switches creates a safety hazard for the next operator using the aerial device. The operator may forget to deploy the outriggers and thus create a rollover accident while using the elevated aerial device. The bypassing of the outrigger switches has been done in different ways. Some people cut the wires to the outrigger switches and add a jumper wire to bypass them. Others have installed a toggle switch, which bypasses the outrigger switch. Either method can leave the outrigger interlock feature permanently disabled. The ANSI standards for aerial devices allows for an outrigger override switch, but the standard requires that the switch be self-disabling so that the outrigger interlock system functions properly for the next unit setup. Utility Truck Equipment and Parts Override Switch with Automatic Disabling Feature is a patented design used in aerial bucket truck applications. The override switch consists of a momentary push-button switch which activates a latching relay. When the aerial tower is set up in such a way that one of the outriggers is not deployed fully and the outrigger interlock remains inactive, the momentary override switch is pressed causing the latching relay to activate a bypass circuit around the outrigger interlock circuit, thus enabling the aerial tower to be elevated and operated normally. When the aerial tower is folded back into the transport position and the outriggers are retracted, the latching relay resets itself to the normally open condition, disabling the outrigger interlock bypass. This makes the original outrigger interlock operation functional as it was originally designed. In order to bypass the outrigger interlock circuit, the momentary override button switch must be pressed to activate the system. And now we'll demonstrate the normal operation of the bucket truck. The truck with the aerial device pulls up to the job site. The operator sets the parking brake and engages the PTO. The operator goes to the rear of the truck and starts to operate lowering the outriggers. The four red lights on the back of the truck indicate that the four outriggers are stowed. As each outrigger is lowered, and gets to the point where the switch is acceptable for the outrigger, the red light goes off and the green light goes on. Then the tower is able to be operated. It is raised out of the saddle and the operator can now get the bucket down to a ground mount position to get into the bucket. When the job is done, the boom's folded back into the saddle. The outriggers are now raised back to the travel position and the PTO is disengaged. 
Now the unit's ready to move to the next job site. Now we'll uh, demonstrate what happens when the truck is set on uneven ground conditions. The operator sets the parking brake and engages the PTO. He gets out and starts to lower the outriggers. When all four outriggers would reach their correct position, all four green lights would be on. But since the ground is uneven, one of the outriggers is down on the ground, but it's still a red light. This does not allow the system ready light to come on. The tower is not able to be elevated out of the saddle. The system override button is pushed and the green light for system ready comes on. Now the tower can be operated and the boom can come out of the saddle and raise to the, the position where the operator can get in the bucket. When the job is done, the unit is folded back into the saddle, the outriggers are raised, and the PTO is disengaged after it's ready for road travel. At this point, all the lights go off. The next demonstration shows that the PTO is engaged again, and the lights are all red lights, green light for PTO on, but the system ready light is not on, indicating that the bypass is not active at this time. My name is Greg Good. I'm a MAT-3 uh, aerial lift owner, operator for many years. Uh, in 2011, utility truck and equipment installed their new override, outrigger override switch on my truck and uh, actually it happened they installed it for me about a month after I nearly tipped my truck over while moving it on a job site and I had the old style outrigger override switch uh, engaged which meant that I could move the truck pick up the outriggers move the truck and fly the boom again without uh, without an outrigger override so I actually moved the job or moved the truck on a job site at the end of the day, we had one last little tree to prune. Uh, we were in a hurry, it was a Friday, and I moved the truck, got out, uh, started flying the boom with my radio control, so I was, wasn't was on the truck itself, and I picked the boom up out of the boom uh, rest, and raised it up, and then started turning it sideways, and I nearly flipped the truck over. I came within a hair's breadth, of flipping the truck over and destroying my bucket truck. And uh, now with this new feature, this over outrigger override switch, that can't happen. And it, uh, when you move the truck, you shut the PTO off to move the truck. When you shut the PTO off, it resets the entire system. So you can't leave your outrigger override switch on. And uh, that is a tremendous safety feature. And I'm glad that uh, I didn't learn the hard way that I should have had one of those on there earlier in the game.